Uh, the topic uh, that we are going to discuss is food contaminants and food adult trends. Now, what are food contaminants that we have discussed till now? That any microorganisms, any uh, insect, any rodent, when it attacks a particular food product, and uh, you know, that produce some toxins uh, into the food product. And when these toxins are transferred from the food product to the human being, that is known as food contamination. Okay. On the other hand, adulteration, uh, adulteration is a different thing. That is what we are going to learn in today's session. Food contamination, we have discussed till now in all the chapters that we have done. And in this chapter, particularly, we are going to discuss only food adulteration. What is food alteration? Let's see. <clears throat> In this particular chapter, we will be discussing uh, what is alteration, what is food alteration, what are adult trends, uh, the effect of food alteration on the human being, detection of food alteration, how to find you know, various uh, common food alterations, alteration and law. What are the laws in India uh, which regulate the food alliteration? And then we'll discuss some questions. On the image, you can see uh, there are various things shown in the picture. Let's see what are these. The first one is edible oil and butter and ghee. Now, in this, what could be the alliterant? So, edible oil contains argemoin oil. Okay, mineral oil and castor oil. So adulterants are, uh, uh, are the addition to a particular food product that will reduce the quality of the product and uh, the, that particular adulterant may harm the human being. So adulterants are additionally added to a particular food product. The reason could be one to increase the quantity of the food product. Second could be uh, to increase uh, increase the profitability in the food product. So a uh, uh, different food product of inferior quality can be added to a particular food product and that is what known as adulteration. So to adulter uh, edible oil, for example, your mustard oil or sunflower oil or any refined oil that you buy, uh, people can add argemoin oil, which is very harmful. We are going to discuss it. Uh, mineral oil can be added, castor oil can be added. Okay, castor oil is very cheap <coughs> in comparison to the edible oil. Uh, butter and ghee can be adulterated with uh, margarine. Margarine is cheap, uh, vanaspati and starch. Sometimes starch is also no, uh, looks like ghee when you clarify it. So these are the adulterants in uh, edible oil. Uh, then we have lentils. In the lentils, uh, what can be added? Uh, clay can be added, stone, gravel cobweb, insect, rodent hair, excreta, you know, man, uh, metanil yellow color. Okay, So this metanil yellow color is, is a kind of yellow color which is chemically produced and it is used you know, uh, to adulter even the turmeric uh, yellow lentils. Okay, So all the yellow products that are available, they are adultered with um, metanil yellow color. Uh, Atta, Meda, Suji, they can be adulterated with soil, insect and all. Okay, the Grains can be adulterated, milk and milk product. You know? uh, the 70%, okay, it has been found in the study that 70% uh, of the milk uh, that is sold in India is adulterated with water. 70% okay? is by water and there are some more adulterants which can be used like starch, hydrated lime, sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate. And you won't believe in the news, uh, you will see that even surf is added to milk. Then food coloring, toxic dyes are used in oils. Okay, So we have learned that what are uh, no good food col coloring. And some, uh, sometime uh, no, to color the food product, some bad <coughs> uh, harmful food colors are also added. So that is very injurious to the health. Monosodium glutamate, you must have heard in Chinese food, MSG. Okay, so uh, that can be adulted, uh, adulterated uh, by various uh, additions to it. Then <coughs> sand, water is sprayed on the mud. Uh, that is 
dug from the vacant site onto earth. So in the constructions also, uh, there are adult trend. Uh, fuel can be adulterated. So a white uh, you know, uh, kerosene is there uh, that can be added to the petroleum product. So not on the petrol pump, but you no know, on the roadside uh, when where the petroleum product are sold in the cans. So over there, these kind of adult trends can be applied. So what do we understand with uh, with this picture that there are various food products there are uh, know, which can be adulterated and adulterant will always be of inferior quality it cannot be of superior quality so one thing is you know uh, should be clear over here that adulterant will always be of inferior quality or a substitute to the main product the process of lowering the nutritive value of food either by removing a vital component okay remember it either by removing a vital component or by adding substances of inferior quality is called as food adulteration. The substance that is used to lower the quality is known as adulterant. Okay, so the product that we are adding to lower the quality is known as adulterant, and the process is known as adulteration. Okay, so these are the two terms uh, which uh, we just got clarified. Uh, what are the common adult trends? So, <clears throat> like we saw on the first slide, uh, some more examples are there. So, food grains and grams, marble pieces and sand particles, clay gilts, soap stones uh, pieces can be added. Pulses can be adulterated with you know, kesari dal. So, these are uh, low quality dal uh, which, are, which are left out in the field. They can be added. Uh, uh, colors can be added, like I told you about uh, metanyl yellow. So that can be added. Wheat flour, uh, maida, powdered lime can be added. Talcum powder can be added. Uh, no, it has been added, not can be added. It is, it is in the process. Okay, there are various food products which are adulterated. That's why it is very important to write the, uh, to buy the right product. Turmeric is uh, adulterated with metanyl yellow. Now, what is metanyl yellow? It is a dye of azo. Okay, azo is a compound. Uh, which comes in the class of azo, and it is also known as acid yellow 36. Metanyl yellow is also known as yellow 36. Uh, black peppers can be adulterated with dry papaya seeds. Chili powder can be adulterated with colored sawdust. Sawdust is uh, no, that brick. So powdered brick can also be added in the chili powder. Uh, sweets can be added with uh, no, uh, colored, which are not permitted for human consumption. Honey uh, can be added with jaggery and sugar because honey is a costly product. So adding jaggery or sugar you know, will make it profitable. So that's, uh, these uh, are the some common adult trends which can be added to a particular food product. Now so let's understand uh, some of the effect of these adulterations on human beings. Now these affect can be very mild. Sometimes we will not feel it, but if we consume adult, uh, adulterated product for a longer time, uh, these symptoms uh, you know, get severe. Okay, so symptoms like headache uh, is normal, gastrointestinal disorders, uh, you know, then it getting serious, muscular pain, drowsiness, etc. And if adulterated uh, food substance <coughs> are used regularly, they can be lethal also. Okay, They can uh, no, be very serious uh, and it can go to the extent of uh, no death if the substance is poisonous. So it is very important to buy the right quality of product. Okay, so I told you about that mustard oil is most of the time uh, is adulterated mustard oil or refined oil, whatever, uh, is most of the time is adulterated with arjamoin oil. Okay, and it is uh, it is uh, oil that is used to adulter ghee, butter is highly toxic in nature. It causes a disease known as dropsy. A dropsy is a disease uh, which means that watery fluid collecting in the some parts of body in the is the main symptom. It affects the normal functioning of the body and it may also paralyze the limbs. So those watery fluid when they they get collected in one of the body parts. So maybe hand or leg or whatever part. So uh, it can paralyze the limbs also. Mentanil yellow that we spoke about, uh, also known as uh, <coughs> azo 36, 
और येलो थर्टी सिक्स इज यूज टू ब्राइटन द कलर ऑफ पल्सेस ओके वो शाइनी एंड द कलरफुल पल्सेस दैट यू सी येलो इन कलर दैट इज डन बाय मेंटानिल येलो टर्मरिक पाउडर इज आल्सो अडल्टेड विद इट स्वीट मीट नो इज अ कोल टार डाई दैट इज आल्सो एडेड इट मे कॉज कैंसर दिस कोल टार डाई वेयर एवर इट इज एडेड इट इज एडेड मोस्टली इन द Uh, the product which are of black color so black lentils uh, might be colored with or shined with coal tar dye and that will cause the cancer washing soda is often added to you know, powdered sugar and often other food product like you know that may cause inter intestinal disorders food items prepared under unhygienic uh, unhygienic conditions and still food cause food poisoning so that we have already discussed you know, uh, till now that uh, the 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 conditions for the production of food product uh, should be hygienic otherwise uh, there might be food poisoning the detection of food uh, adulteration so i'm giving you some example there are many examples by which you know we can find that a particular food product is adulterated so tea powder and suji okay so suji is added into tea powder now <clears throat> how to find it uh, adulterant could be iron fillings spread the tea leaves or suji on a paper draw a magnet over it the iron fillings is present are attached by the magnet so this is how you can find that whether the iron fillings are there in the tea powder or suji or not uh, rice and wheat adulterant uh, uh, could be sand grit marble pieces soap stone pieces these are visually detected and removed by sorting hand picking and washing now i'll, I'll tell you uh, you know a personal experience that my mother uh, you know when she she gets you uh, know uh, grains or pulses for the whole year okay so we we buy pulses for whole year so what she does uh, you know she <coughs> takes out a plate and put some of the lentils into it and then manually she removes all the stones and everything so this process is basically to remove the adulterant in the pulses or the uh, cereals that we have bought and you know uh, in today's time nobody is doing it so certain food processing unit they remove the adulterant at their own end and they they try to keep the food food product safe okay and that uh, that is mandated by the law also so we are going to discuss what law governs the food alteration now coffee powder uh, you will find that tamarind seed uh, seed powder is also added to coffee powder to increase the volume <coughs> of uh, you know coffee powder so two spoons of coffee powder is added to water in a tumbler coffee powder will float onto the top and the adulterant will sink down at the base so if you can see that you will find that there are some adulterant so that that is how we can check whether the uh, adulterants are there in the coffee powder or not cooking oil uh, adulterant is argemoin oil about 5 ml of cooking oil is taken in a test tube and 5 ml of concentrated nitric acid is added to it a reddish brown color appears if argemoin oil is present in it so this we cannot do at home but uh, no we can uh, randomly check uh, our food no uh, oil that we are using at home uh, at a laboratory we can give them uh, if any issues are there uh, so we can change the particular oil or we can make a complaint about that particular oil uh, to the authorities so that is how we can check the cooking oil now let's talk about some of the law uh, which deals with the adulteration so the first law that was uh, <clears throat> enacted by the government of india was prevention of food adulteration act in the year 1954 now this act <clears throat> was made by the government of india central government and uh, you know, this was very flexible law that uh, states had power uh, and the state have flexibility to make their own law for their uh, states depending on their requirement and this particular law was uh, was very vast okay so lot of things were included like food product order 
meat product order and there are uh, various orders okay for a uh, different kind of food product but <clears throat> uh, later on uh, the government thought that you know this is not very effective and still a lot of adulteration and lot of uh, mishandling is happening in the food processing industry so uh, in the year 2006 another law was uh, you know, enacted that is food safety and standard authority of india okay that is that we know is fsai f s s a i this law comes under the food safety and standard act of 2006 now what the government did they repealed all the laws which were existing and they merged everything into fsai they they made a fsai body uh, which is responsible for all kind of food products that could be uh, food product related to agriculture, that could be food product uh, related to beverages, food, packaged food, processed food, unprocessed food, so everything okay, that we buy in terms of eating or drinking is, you know, is under the facile law. Okay. I give you an example. If you buy a, a sweet from a sweet shop, that sweet shop should have a license of FASAI. If you are going to a street vendor, okay, and buying ch uh, chow mein over there, that chow mein stall should have a fasai license that it is maintaining or you know, following the hygiene practices and the food product that it is being selling, okay, are of standard quality, okay, or average quality, whatever the standard are set by fasai. So that is what fasai is doing. It, it you know, everything, okay, any any packet that you buy. Or maybe namkeen biscuit whatever it will have a facile license okay that what where the product is being manufactured where the product is being processed okay and you know who is selling it so everything you know, is there on the label and the facile license number will be written on to the particular product now there are two more things written over there that uh, isi and agmark isi is indian standard institution and it only deals with electronic product. Okay, I is uh, no uh, ISI is only only dealing with electronic and mechanical product. So a helmet, if you are buying, or uh, a switch, okay, electric switch, you are buying, they will have a ISI certification onto them. Okay, and ISI certification is of seven mark, seven number. Okay, it's a seven digit code. So you will see that. There are various uh, products uh, available in the market with a fake ISI mark. Okay, so just that ISI is written over a product does not mean that it is ISI certified. You will have to look for a seven digit number over there. And that number you can check onto the ISI website whether it is certified or not. Okay, I'll give you an example. I, order, uh, I was going to order an, uh, a helmet. Okay through Flipkart and uh, that helmet was ISI mark and everything. Okay. So when uh, I when I wanted to check whether this helmet is good or not, so what I did, I looked for the ISI number and there it was six digit number. Okay. So I checked on the ISI website and they say that ISI number is always seven digit number. So that means that they were selling a fake ISI mark helmet over there. So that's how you can check the website and find out whether the product is legitimate or not. The second is a directorate of marketing and inspection. And this is a body uh, known as Ag Mark. Okay. Ag is AG is agriculture and mark is mark. So agricultural mark. And uh, this particular body deals only with the ag agricultural product. Okay, the, the product which are related to agriculture and they are certified by AGMARC. And AGMARC is not a compulsory. Okay, remember, FASAI is compulsory, AGMARC is not compulsory, ISI is compulsory, but AGMARC is a voluntary. So, if I am dealing with my particular food product, I am growing uh, new potatoes in my field and I want that it should be certified with AGMARC. So what I will do, I will go to the AgMark website. I'll apply for the AgMark. They will come. They will inspect my product, and if they found everything is good, 
they will give me agmark certification what will how it will help me uh, i can you know write on my product that it is agmark certified and that's how its reach into the country will increase and it will be more acceptable uh, you know in the country so that's how agmark works okay fasai you have to take the license there is no option of not taking a license whether you are want to open your own outlet uh, maybe a restaurant or maybe a cloud kitchen whatever you are opening you will have to take a fasai license but if you don't want to take a agmark that is okay nobody is going to penalize you but if you are not taking a fasai license you might be penalized uh who will penalize and who will check whether you, know, you are following the fasai standards or not so that will be uh, that will be the person known as food safety officer so these are food safety officers which are uh, which, which which are spread throughout the country under the label of fasai so they are uh, you know they they have the authority to check any food processing industry any food processing outlet or any restaurant or any hotel at any point of time and they can inspect a particular place if they found that uh, there are mishandling there are discrepancies in the operations or the food product that are being produced or manufactured okay are not of quality standard they may raise the concern at the fasai and a license can be cancelled okay now what are the punishment under this act okay so import remember i am i have uh, taken this from the law itself okay so i will read it uh, word to word import manufacture storage sale or distribution of any food article which is adulterated or any adulterant which is injurious to health is being used is punishable under law penalty is minimum imprisonment of 1 year that may extend up to 6 years and minimum fine of rupees 2000 the second provision is the sale or distribution of any food product article containing any poisonous or other ingredient injurious to health which is likely to cause death or grievous bodily harm penalty is minimum imprisonment of 3 year and that may extend up to life and minimum fine of rupees 5000 this life imprisonment is only in the two states of india uh, in 1972 or 1992 somewhere uh, up government and andhra government they 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 made provision in their law state law that if somebody is found you know adultering the food product they may be imprisoned for the life okay so these are the two provisions for the punishment uh, of the people who Uh, are found altering the particular food product so that's it uh, any questions you have you can uh, ask now so you were uh, talking about food safety officer uh, i uh, skipped that point uh, could you please explain 